Hello, ladies and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden, and in today's video, we are starting something new, and I want to be fully transparent in the first 10 seconds, actually, to let you guys know that I got this idea from Alex Martini. His YouTube channel is Martini Works, I believe, but obviously I'll like put it either up here in the description or something uh, to show you guys what I'm talking about. Because I watched one of his videos, I thought it was really cool, I want to do my own Mark Roden spin on it, but I want to make it very clear, this is not my idea or anything like that. Um, so please go show him some love. He used to work at Fitment Industries. Actually, he might still work there. I'm not 100% sure, but he used to work there. I used to watch all of his So You Want to Buy a Blank videos all the time. Great guy. Just go watch him. But today we're going to be doing how to build the BMW E36. Now, we are specifically talking mainly about the 328i E36, okay? this Most of these parts are interchangeable with, you know, 325i's, 323i's, uh, M3's, it doesn't really matter as long as you have the E36 chassis then you should be pretty good but when I did it I mainly was looking into 328i's because those are really realistic um, and the way that's going to work is first we're going to go over the exterior mods what I would do in terms of the exterior making it look pretty then I'll go over the interior mods what I would do for the interior uh, and then I'll go over the performance mods and then give you a grand total of how much it would actually cost for me to build the perfect BMW E36 in my opinion as long along with the actual cost of the car too my dog is down here what you doing look at her she's so beautiful but anyway uh yeah without further ado let's get right into the video all right but anyway i'm gonna have some videos of e36 is doing cool stuff in the background for this i, I, I really don't know what's gonna be in the background but like i said the way this is gonna work is we're gonna go over each individual part what i would do to them and uh how much they cost how much the car cost let's get that out of the way i we're gonna start with a base of five thousand i think five thousand dollars is a good amount of money to give yourself if you want to buy a decent 328i e36 will you have to wait and you know keep your eye on the market for a little bit yeah definitely i mean it's not going to be easy but i think it can be found for 5k so we're giving ourselves a base of 5k so we have five thousand dollars so far set up into the car and everything else i'll put a picture up on the screen um of the parts so that you guys can see like i'm not lying about the cost of it and then also i'm not going to be including shipping or taxes costs because that's different for absolutely everybody i mean some people might live right next to the company they could literally just drive there and pick it up you know what i mean so it, it all just kind of depends on where you are um but first up let's go with over fenders by click tuning e36 sedan over fenders although they do look good on coupes too so either way it kind of works and probably on the uh convertibles too now i'm not a wide body guy you guys know this i had a 350z i have an integra neither one of those were wide body and neither one of them i kind of thought about it with the 350z going rocket bunny but then i just didn't like it but over fenders on the e36s not only look good like they just add that little bit of aggression to them that the e36s really honestly don't have but on top of that they're kind of necessary because a lot of people complain that e36s can't fit big wheels underneath their uh underneath their regular body lines so they have to go wide body however this is one of the most expensive parts on this list for fourteen hundred dollars so that's 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 definitely ain't cheap uh, the next thing i would do is put a little rear bumper diffuser on it i found one on ebay that i liked for 180 bucks it looked sick i would obviously do it so there you go 180 dollars ebay diffuser next is i would go for an e36 m3 style front bumper kit uh you can find this on beamer world for around 200 dollars. the reason why i would do this is I, I some of them come already with like the m package on it so you you, you won't have to do that but most of them don't and uh, i just really don't like the way the front bumper looks i think it's a little eh, it's a little iffy you know what i mean it's just it's just a little bit too like too tamed i like the m3 front bumper a lot better uh and the whole front bumper kit gives you all the little pieces to it as well so i would definitely buy that next would be clear corner lights now clear corner lights clear to amber like clear tails whatever uh both of these can be found very easily on facebook marketplace people sell these things all the time for the e36s they're very like wanted things uh and so i found some for sale on google though for 30 dollars. however again i think you could find them for really really cheap on facebook marketplace especially even the taillights too because a lot of people don't like to keep the amber taillights i i'm just going to keep the amber taillights but uh for my build personally but uh, but yeah it, they're all found on facebook marketplace for really easy but i did find an ad for 30 dollars for the clear corners on google so that's what we're going with next is window tint this is obvious uh 40 400 is how much i paid for window tint on my 350z um so i'm just going to go with 400 uh i would personally i would do five percent all around and 35 percent on the front windshield it's illegal but i think it looks the best and it's still not too dark so that you can't look out of it um i did again i did that on my 350z and i loved it so yeah that's what i would do next is a spoiler partner the ltw style spoiler ltw live to a live to what is it i don't know i don't remember exactly what their uh 
No, it's not even live to. I'm thinking of live to offend, which is LTO. Thing, uh, but anyway, the LTW style spoiler it looks really, really good. Every M3 puts them on there pretty much, but for good reason. They cost only three hundred dollars for the replicas. If you want to get a real one, they're really expensive. Um, but I'm just gonna go with the replicas. Um, it's for three hundred bucks. Next is side skirt extensions. Just little, just little like carbon fiber extensions on the bottom of the side skirt. Not even carbon fiber. They're probably just gonna be like black plastic. But they add a little bit of a aggression to it that the car kind of needs for two hundred dollars. Pretty cheap, but also kind of expensive if you really think about it. Cause it's just like two long pieces of plastic, so it's kind of weird. But next is the wheels. This is expensive, but I found a car sitting on this exact setup on Fima Industries Gallery. I use that all the time for my cars and their wheels for uh, telling other people what wheels they should put on their cars because it really is a big help. Uh, so I found an E36 with the uh, over fenders on it that was running Rotiform RSE 17 by 9 plus 30s with Nitto Neogen's 20540 R17s. That total package without shipping and including and all that stuff is $2,000. Very expensive right there. Um, but even the, the next thing is even more expensive and I think that that looks good. Wheels are expensive, but they, they're worth it because they really changed the car. So 2, 2K, that's okay with me. But the next thing is really expensive and it's a wrap. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what color I would do it. I don't even know what color I would do it. It takes me forever to choose what color I would want my car to be. So I'm just going to write wrap here. Um, now, realistically, it's probably going to cost you around $2,500. Very expensive. Wrapping is not cheap. And, and that's if you can find a really good deal. Um, I used Aluco vinyl and I really liked them. And you can find a whole roll for pretty much like a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks. Um, so that's good. But then finding a guy to install it for you for cheap is the hard part. I luckily got lucked out and I found a person that would do it for me for only like a thousand dollars for my Integra. And I got sent the wrap for free for a sponsorship. So I only spent a thousand dollars for mine, but I'm going to put two thousand five hundred here. Cause that's a that's a relatively realistic price i think which gives us a grand total for the exterior of seven thousand two hundred and ten dollars plus the five thousand from an, the initial thing and we are at twelve thousand two hundred and ten dollars for this e36 however if you really think about it twelve thousand two hundred ten dollars for a like beautiful looking like this would look literally, literally gorgeous in my opinion uh e36 like a show ready e36 is not that bad man but that, now let's go into the interior all right, so for the interior, we only have a couple things here because I'm not the biggest, like, I don't really go over the top of, like, some people gut their interiors and do all this. For most of these, like, how I would build a blank series, by the way, they're going to be relatively just street builds. They're not going to be anything too over the top. Obviously, if you're going for, like, a whole drift build or a drag build or something like that, you're going to want, like, a sequential gearbox and a freaking a whole custom-made dash and the interior, the whole interior is gutted, full padded roll cage, like, all these kinds of crazy things. We're not going to do that. It's just a street build. So the first thing is a cage, but it's just a half cage made by Euro Tuning. Uh, it went for $520 for this car. It fits into the E36 perfectly and it's 500 bucks. I mean, it's going to help you if you roll over, uh, and it won't, it won't be too, uh, uh oh, my heater turned on, but it won't, it's not going to be like right in your face. So if you get into an accident, you're going to bang your head off of it because it's just a half cage. So I think it's a good, it's a good compromise. Next is NRG racing seats. I've always loved NRG seats better than, well, like not better than like freaking Recaro's or anything like Recaro's brides. Obviously those are like, you know, legendary seats, but for like a budget seat, I think NRG racing seats are really nice i found a couple out there that fit into an e36 perfectly they said for 540 dollars obviously you kind of have to be careful with seats because you're you got to remember your build you know if you're a chubby guy if you're a skinny guy if you're tall if you're short you got to know that thing and make sure that you get a seat that's going to feel comfortable for you um but i think these are pretty average um Next is the shift knob and the shift boot. This is just personal preference, man. It's, it's kind of like another aesthetics thing. Shift knobs don't actually matter. Uh, shift boots don't actually matter. None of that stuff actually matters. Um, it just looks cool. And I, I, I put it on average like 50 bucks. You know, I, I think it's okay to say that it would cost you around $50 to find a good shift knob and shift boot that you're, you're, you're okay with. Next is floor mats. Another thing that's just kind of like up to you, whatever you want to go with. I, again, wrote $50 here pretty average i mean you could you just go out there and find whatever floor mats you'd like and just buy them you know it doesn't really matter how much it costs it's floor mats are not gonna be that expensive uh next thing is a big one is the nrg quick quick release and steering wheel um yeah you're gonna i mean you're gonna want to be careful with this uh, people always buy quick release wheels before they buy anything else for their cars and i don't i don't know if that's necessarily the best idea because what happens is you kind of get rid of your um your airbags 
but if it's a street vehicle most likely you're not dailying it so i think it's okay at that point uh but i wrote 300 dollars for this nrg sets up a nice little a nice a nice compromise i've heard some horror stories from it but then i've also heard some people saying that they're all full of it and they just don't like it because it's cheap and people like to spend money for some reason on cars and justify their expensive taste um but so kind of take what you want there but 300 dollars for a quick release hub and wheel I think that's not that bad, man. 300 bucks, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. And then the final thing for the interior would be a fire extinguisher and a bracket. I'm actually getting a fire extinguisher and a bracket for my Integra 350Z. Well, I don't have my 350Z anymore. No, I keep forgetting. But I'm getting one for my Integra and then whatever my next car is really soon because it costs $50 for that combo and it could literally save your car. I have literally just the other day saw my friend posted on a Snapchat story that is Volvo S60 burnt to the ground right in front of him because he didn't have a fire extinguisher. If he had a fire extinguisher, could have just took it out, put the fire out, and would have been done. I understand that most of this car, the, the one that I'm explaining to you guys right now, is not gonna have that many, like, much stuff on it that's, that could cause a fire, you know? Because we're about to get to the performance and there's really only three things in the performance mods category that I would wanna do to the car. And it's like, so most likely that's not gonna cause a fire, but it's okay because it's $50 and you're just, you're just playing it safe. You never know what could go wrong, you never know. And what if maybe you're driving by somebody else with a fire? Now you're the one that saves the day. Like it's just it's just a good thing to have. So that give us a total of fifteen hundred and ten dollars for the interior. I'm gonna round that down to just fifteen hundred those to make it easy. I'm also gonna round the total of the exterior down to seventy two hundred because that was at seventy two ten as well. Um, so that puts us at a grand total of between the interior and exterior. We are now at eighty seven hundred but plus the 5,000 for the actual cost of the car is $13,700. So for $13,700, you can build a nice looking and nice to sit in E36. That's pretty cool, man. All right, but like I said, now we're on to the performance mods. And uh, the first one is coilovers. I mean, this is obvious. Everybody puts coilovers on every car nowadays. And for good gosh darn reason, they are necessary mods man necessary mods for any car uh i was finding decent coilovers uh for the e36 for around 500 dollars. i was finding racelands and i've heard a lot of good things about racelands i've also heard a lot of bad but then again i've heard a lot of bad things about literally every brand don't listen to people when they come to, when they come up with oh this is this is what unless like it's a unanimous decision like xxr wheels okay everybody like hates on xxr wheels there's a good reason for that they aren't that good wheels <laughs> they really aren't they're really just not that great but like if if you see one or two people be like oh these coilovers suck it's like how do you know you don't know until you give it a shot so the 500 dollar raceland coilovers are the ones i'm going with yes you could spend like a thousand two hundred dollars on bc racings if you want to that's totally up to you i'm just going to go with the 500 hundred dollar racelands try and keep it relatively budget next is a cold air intake by dynan dynan is a massive bmw uh like company out there they make tons of bmw parts and they make a cold air intake for the e36 for only 240 dollars now that is a little expensive for a cold air intake for an older car but not that bad dude i mean 240 bucks that's really that's pretty damn cheap so i'm going with that and it's dining like dining is great and finally we're just going to straight pipe that bad boy i don't I'm not even not even by like buying a company straight pipe no siree i literally mean we're going to cut the resonators out cut the muffler out and just weld some pipes on there if you do that if you know a welder who will help you weld the pipes i have a friend his name's curtis he would weld it for me for completely free and all you have to do is buy the pipes that means and if that's the case it's 50 bucks bro <laughs> like literally 50 dollars to buy some pipes you don't even have to spend the 50 dollars if you just have some pipes laying around that fit the size of the uh, car's pipes so yeah we're straight piping that bad boy in the most ghetto straight pipe possible uh people okay here's the thing i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this exhausts aren't as complicated as people think um i feel like people are like oh i have to spend this much money all they're doing is doing exactly what you could do but just doing it fancy you know what i mean like if, if you're buying a straight pipe from a company that's charging you like 300 dollars, literally that's what they're doing man they're literally just taking pipes and welding them together and th that's it i mean if you do the same thing you could do it for significantly cheaper and I know it like sounds ghetto and it sounds like bad, but again, that is exactly what those companies are doing. Now, some of them might put in like some like cheats for your O2 sensor or they'll do like, I don't know, they'll, they'll put in some like valves, you know, exhaust valves open and close it maybe. Um, but for the most part, they're all just doing exactly what I just said, you know, and they're not, it's not that fancy. They're just cutting out what, what, what was in the car in the first place. So that gives us a grand total of $790 for the performance. But since we took $10 off the interior and $10 off the exterior, we're actually going to round that up for to $800 to make it easy. Um, so that means we have $7,200 for the exterior, 
$1,500 for the interior and $800 for the performance mods, which gives us a grand total of $9,500 to modify the car. And again, plus the $5,000 to actually buy the car puts us at a total of $14,500. And now we can add that extra $10 in that we took off. So $14,510 to fully buy and build a BMW 328i E36 in my opinion. Now there is obviously tons of modifications I missed. I have never really been the biggest guy into like uh, performance. You know, I've never really, I mean, I care about it obviously, but uh, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy having a fun car to drive. But at the end of the day, I really care more about if my cars look good. So I obviously spent a lot of money on the exterior mods because that's what I like. I like the exterior mods. You might be completely different. Maybe your performance mods are going to be like big turbo by freaking Garrett, uh, all like new radiator, massive intercooler, bored out motor. Like you could, you could go crazy with the performance mods and easily get performance mods up to this car up to the $10,000 mark if you really want a incredibly fast E36. I think personally a 328i E36 already comes with 190 horsepower. If you add a cold air intake, if you add a straight pipe on it, you're probably gonna be pushing close to 200 horsepower at that point. That's plenty for a rear-wheel drive lightweight sedan by BMW that it looks good and has a really nice interior. Like that, that's that's gonna be cool enough to me. So, so anyway, that's the end of today's video of the how to modify a BMW E36 in Mark Roden's opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. We're gonna give this a shot. Uh, this video might not do good because uh, there's not a lot of E36 fans on my channel. I feel like like I feel like. Every time I make a video about the E36 or there's an E36 in the thumbnail, it doesn't really do that well. So this video might not do that good. So we're going to do multiple of them. Don't worry. I mean, we're, we're going to do how to build a BMW E36, how to build a 350Z, how to build a, any car that you could think of. Let me know in the comments what car you want to see. I mean, that would actually be really helpful. If you want to see me how I would build a certain car, let me know. I would definitely leave a comment. If you guys want to see me put more emphasis on the performance mods and you don't really care about how much it's going to cost, let me know. You know, I'll do that too. It's like, if you want to see me really go deep into depth with it and build like a full blown race car with a certain car and you don't, again, you don't care about like how much money it's going to cost or anything like that. Let me know. I was just kind of keeping in mind the whole idea that most people, when they modify cars, don't want to spend a lot of money, you know, like they want it, they want to keep it low. That's why I tried keeping the E36 that I was just talking about relatively low goal with like some cheaper options for like the LTW style spoiler or the E36 M3 style front bumper, things like that, keeping it as low as possible. Um, but if you guys don't care about that and you don't care about how much it would cost, then let me know that too. But yeah, just let me know whatever your car you want to see. Again, huge thank you to Alex Martini. Uh, he's a big car guy. I mean, you guys have heard of him. I don't really have to give him an introduction, but if you don't know who he is, go check him out. He is really cool. Everybody loves him. God bless him. I mean, he's nothing but a good guy as far as I know. I mean, I've never met the guy. Maybe I'd hate him in real life. I don't know. But as far as I know, he's nothing but a good guy, you know, so go give him some love. Uh, again, this is all because of him, and uh, I saw his video, and I was like, that sounds like a video I want to make. I'm not trying to compete with him. There's plenty of, you know, plenty of people on YouTube to go around, so I hope I hope you guys don't think that's what's happening here. I just, I think it's okay if two people are making the same style of video, you know? I don't think I'm going to steal any of his views, um, so I hope, I, hope, I hope you guys are all right with that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, das Badania, and this is just a rough draft, you know, this is the first one of these videos, we can definitely go more into depth with things later, just let me know what you guys would like to see changed on them, and we'll do that in the future, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate it, Das Badania, and have a nice night.